All right, hey, this is Sage from Sage Outcast, and we just obviously had a big news event that just happened. Um, I'm putting this out Sunday, so at last yesterday at the rally, uh, there was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Now, the issue is, and, and the reason I'm doing this uh, show now is, I'm going to have to change some of the format for the show. Um, and I'm going to, although I am in logistics, I am also an extremely good researcher who's able to look from a 30,000 down view right rather than out the windshield so some of the stuff that we're going to have to look at is the reality of this because there's going to be this is going to fuel a lot of emotions and things like that and i get that and and people say hey well you know you're a biden supporter you're this and you're that. i'm not and, and the issue is is i'm a policy supporter and i i look at the reality of things and i think that's that's what we're losing right now and I just want to play this real quick so you understand. And because this is what I don't want to happen, but this is what I've been talking about for probably a year now. This mentality, this mindset. Thank God that God is on this man's side. And this just. But everything changes. Now. Of course, I want to just go out and fucking kill people. Like 200 million of you patriots who are locked and loaded, ready for this moment. And I call on you and I beg you, I'm asking you, just hear me out. Just hold off. Just hold off. Because this changes everything. This is what I'm talking about. This mindset that this changes everything and that we are now in a different in a different place. For both the good and the bad. I beg you folks, us folks, who are ready to hold off. He's okay. He's going to be okay. We got that. Hold off. Hold off. Hold off what? Hold off what? Locked and loaded. Wanting to go out and unalive people. Hold off till November 5th. Hold off till November 5th. All right. And after November 5th. Yeah. If it goes the wrong fucking way. If it goes the wrong way, meaning he Trump loses the election? You do whatever the fuck you have to do. You go ahead and do whatever you have to do. This is the mindset of the people that I was been talking about for over a year. That people basically say, no, no, no. That's not what's going on. We're fine. It's never going to happen. But right now, I'm begging you to hold off. Because I know where you are. You're, I know where you are. You're where I am right now. And here's the problem with this, right? Here's the problem with this. So now, if, if people still wanted to vote Trump, if people, that, that's great, that's fine. But if people still wanted to vote Biden because they want the views and they, not, I'm sorry, they want the policies of the Democratic Party, they're, they're not allowed to anymore. This is not a free election, right? When, when you have people like this saying that 200 million people it's it, even if it was fair, it's no longer free. It's no longer a free election. Now, the person that shot was a cook, uh, Cooks, Thomas, Thomas Cooks, and he was registered Republican. But even being registered Republican, I'm looking into stuff that he might have been working uh, for the Democratic Party in regards to helping people vote and getting out on the streets and things like that. But what where this is turning into is. All of the left teamed up to hire this guy to go out and do this. And it's not. It's not. All over X, we're seeing this. All over X, if you're pushing the mentality that, that all of the left did this, or this, is all, this was an individual who did this, who may have been left, may have been right, may have been middle, but this was an individual. And his views don't represent my views. But that doesn't mean that people shouldn't be able to have a free Free and fair election. And free means I, I can vote the way I want to vote. I can vote against Trump if I want to vote against Trump. I can vote for the Democratic policies if I want to vote for Democratic policies. I can vote for Republican policies if I want to vote for Republican policies. And if I make those choices that are against yours, I don't want you to gear up. So I'm going to have to start to do a show 
breaking down the reality of things and, and trying to actually see if we can pull apart some of this misinformation that's being thrown out there to fuel the divide. Because everybody says they're trying to divide us. They're trying to divide us. They're trying to divide us. So if you're not coming to the right, if you're not over here on the right with us, then we're being divided. Well, maybe those people just have left-leaning views. I don't know. Let's, um, like I said, I'm going to start doing a show. People, you, I hope you watch. I uh, and and it'll be call in, and and I'll set it up where you can call in, and we can do some stuff. But if not, I just got to do it. I just got to do it from here to election time. Age out.